Hey guys, today I am going to do the dinner tag. Um, I saw this tag on the Not So Ordinary Wives channel. Uh, really good channel. I love watching her grocery hauls and um, some recipe videos and she does really good question and answer videos. So if you haven't seen her channel yet, please go check her out. She's really good. Um, she's actually a subscriber of mine, which I'm like so humbled by because I have less than 50 subscribers and she has, I think the last time I checked like 18,000 subscribers. So she's super popular and I really like watching her videos. So go check her out. Okay. So the dinner tag is a series of nine questions, 10 questions actually, um, all about dinner time. And as I am the frugal foodie Frank, I think a lot about dinner. Um, I think a lot about food. So I meal plan, um, I cook dinner five or six times a week. I love cooking, so I'm excited to do this dinner tag. So the first question is, what is your favorite crock pot meal? I have a crock pot, but I actually don't use it very often. Um, I think the best thing that I've made in it so far is pulled pork. Here's my thing with the crock pot. I love it. I think it's a great idea, but I can never find a recipe that really works for me in it because I work full time. So I leave the house around like seven 15 to 7.30 in the morning, um, and I don't get home until between 6 and 7 at night. So most of the recipes in a crock pot, you need four hours on high or eight hours on low. And if I did eight hours on low and I put it in right before I went to work, it would be done at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So I can't really do that, but if I waited to do the four hours on high, it wouldn't be done until like 10 or 11 at night. So I think crock pots are really good for people who maybe don't work full time or don't work out of the house so many hours a day um, or like stay at home moms or something. Crock pots are great. Uh, but for me, I just haven't found a really useful crock pot recipe yet. Oh, actually I've made black beans in the crock pot before and that's a really, really easy way to make black beans. You just soak them overnight um, and then you drain the water out, put new water in and cook them in the crock pot on low for I think it was like 10 to 12 hours because it takes a really, really long time. But that way you're not like standing over the stove for that long. Obviously I wouldn't stand over the, the, the little, little, I wouldn't stand over the stove for that long anyway. I would probably walk away, but you don't have to like worry about leaving your house with a stove on, which is never a good idea. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> so hope that answers the crock pot question. Okay. Next question is your favorite easy cleanup meal. That for me would have to be breakfast for sure. We have breakfast for dinner maybe once a week. Um, I love making breakfast for dinner because it's so easy, it's really cheap, you can keep it really healthy, and like this question says, the cleanup is super, super easy. So when I make breakfast for dinner, it's usually fried eggs or omelets or something, so you just have like a cutting board to wash and a frying pan. So that is why I love breakfast for dinner. Um, what's the next question? Your favorite Pinterest dish? That's a really good question. I surf Pinterest all the time. So I, like whenever I'm bored, like waiting in a line or something, I'm on my phone looking at Pinterest. So I find a ton of really good ideas from there, but I always usually kind of adapt a recipe before I make it. So I don't, I don't know if I've ever taken recipe just from Pinterest and used it. Oh, okay, yeah, I have, I definitely have. My oatmeal cookies that I make with just bananas, oats, and peanut butter, those are, that is a recipe that I found on Pinterest, and I love those cookies. Um, cookies probably isn't even the right word for them. They're just in the shape of cookies, but they're super healthy. Like I said, it's just bananas, oats, I add peanut butter, and sometimes some chocolate chips, make them a little more like cookies, um, and then you just cook them like you would cook a cookie. Um, <laughs> they're really good. So that I found from Pinterest and I can't even remember the name of the blog that the pin led back to, but I'll double check and see if I can, um, put a link to that recipe in the description box below. And so that would be my favorite Pinterest dish, the healthiest dinner you make. Most of my meals are really healthy. Um, I focus a lot on eating healthy food and, um, eating what I call real food, which is food that's as close to its natural state as possible. So almost everything we eat is not processed. It's usually really fresh and healthy and incorporates a ton of vegetables and fruits. Um, 
but I guess if I had to pick the healthiest dinner I make would probably be like a salad of some sort which sounds really boring but um, Ryan is really he Ryan really likes salad he's really adventurous with vegetables he um, isn't afraid to try new vegetables so I make salad for dinner I don't know maybe every other week because I eat salad for lunch usually so I don't make it a ton for dinner but when I do make it for dinner he eats it and he likes it and I know a lot of guys can't stand salad like my mom's boyfriend can't stand salad at all does not eat green lettuce or vegetables or anything um but yeah I would have to say probably and Ryan's favorite salad I make is probably a chef salad where I cut up like hard-boiled eggs and um, ham and cheese um, and it's kind of like a chopped salad it's really good so that's the healthiest dish that I make okay the next question is what is your favorite soup oh that's a tough one um I love soup Ryan hates soup well he likes he actually really likes Campbell's chicken noodle soup like in a can and I have to admit too like when I was younger I really liked that but um I don't eat that anymore because I think it's kind of gross but my favorite soup that I make would probably be my curried butternut squash soup which is really really good and it's coming up on that season right now so I will leave a link in the description below to my recipe because it's so good oh it's really good and now I want it it's really good um so it's curried butternut squash soup is my favorite soup that I make what is the most unique dish that you make um I don't know if anything I make is really unique I'm failing at this tag horribly um okay my most unique dish it's probably f my fried rice because, I mean, I don't know if it's unique. Um, I, maybe this is how everybody makes fried rice, but uh, I just like it a lot and it seems to be a favorite. It's not, my, it's not really a unique dish, but I guess that would be like my signature dish. Ryan really likes it, um, or at least he says he likes it. For a while though, I made that meal in college, fried rice. Like, <laughs> we would eat it twice a week because it's so cheap we were so broke um, and it's cheap and really good and quick and easy um, and you can make it ahead of time and then kind of eat it all week so I think for a while there in college he was really sick of fried rice uh, but now I don't make it that often um, maybe like once a month I make it and it's really really good so that I think would be my most unique dish um, what is your favorite pasta dish um every pasta dish ever basically i love pasta that is probably like my downfall when it comes to like portion size or portion control because i could eat like a vat of pasta i could eat a huge bowl of pasta and still want more i love it love it love it so god there are so many there's like ravioli i love ravioli um i just got a pasta maker actually for my birthday from my mom so I'm excited to make my own homemade ravioli. Um, I love tortellini, so I like boil tortellini and then put it in like a skillet with olive oil and garlic and a bunch of different vegetables and kind of like fry it up. Um, it's not like deep fried, it's like sauteed, but that's really good. I like um, penne a la vodka would be like one of my favorites. I haven't had that in a really long time. So any pasta dish basically. But my favorite 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 pasta dish I guess like if I could only have one pasta dish for the rest of my life would be spaghetti and meatballs keeping it classic I would say spaghetti and meatballs would be my favorite pasta dish what is your kids favorite meal well <laughs> I don't have any kids um so nothing they don't have a favorite meal because they don't exist but Ryan's favorite meal who is my boyfriend um who's the only person I cook for would probably be lemon chicken that I make. I just marinate chicken in like lemon juice, olive oil, garlic salt, um, a bunch of different seasonings, like Italian seasoning and everything. And he really likes that. Um, and I would just make it with like rice pilaf is probably his favorite side dish and whatever vegetable because he's not really picky about that stuff. Um, so definitely lemon chicken. Um, what do you always bring, oh, what dish do you always bring to parties, potlucks, or gatherings? I always sign up to bring fruit salad or like veggies and dip when I go to 
any sort of potluck or um, like picnic or anything. And the reason for that is, number one, it's so, so easy. All you have to do, even if you're feeling super lazy, you can buy all the fruit already cut up from the store, which is easy. It's more expensive, obviously. Um, but that's really easy. Um, and the second reason I do it is because then I know there's something really healthy that I'll be able to eat at whatever event I'm going to. So if you haven't, or if you're new to my channel or haven't really seen my blog, I don't eat a lot of processed foods and most of the foods that you find at like a picnic or a barbecue or something are usually like pretty processed. So I mean, you never want to be rude and not eat what people are serving you. So I just kind of fill up on the healthy stuff that I bring so then I can just try a little bit of what everybody else brought and not feel so bad. Um, so I definitely try and bring fruit salad is probably my go-to, but like veggies and hummus would be a second one if um, fruit salad wouldn't really work. And that's it. That's Those are the nine dinner tag questions. Um, the tenth question is, it's not like a question, but keep this tag alive and tag three friends. So I am going to tag Jen from How Jen Does It. Um, I'm going to tag Family Days and Katie Lett. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it. Um, and definitely check out my blog frugalfoodiefrank.com for some fun recipes and good tips.